Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf Run. My name is Saiken and we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only one soldier per mission. Exception is probably this mission and um, pff, yep. other than that maybe the last mission as well is the Avenger defense mission where you cannot sl uh, slot a single soldier. So this year will be one of the exception missions. We're jumping right into the action today. <clears throat> where we have been ambushed. Roby and his partner Scotch are on the lookout and are probably forced to defend against whatever enemy force is going to land here. Mm. The landing usually happens in the starting zone. So might as well position ourselves up uh, here. Let's see where the pack is going to land. It's always kind of the crux of the entire of the entire mission uh, because those guys will come in at a pack of three. Moving to high ground. And overwatching. And Roby, to be honest, might as well just stand where he is. Uh, that's uh, going to be the maximum accuracy that he would get. So we're fighting against an Advent Captain plus two of his troopers. It's probably an Advanced Captain and, and Advanced Troopers. Yeah, lots of hit points to chew through. Let's hope for two hits. Come on. <clears throat> That's only a single hit. Not optimal, to say the least. Not optimal. So what are we looking at? 60% shot into full cover. Could go into full cover myself. Probably going to start with an 8 protocol. And let's soften him up. That's a dangerous uh, situation because now the car is going to explode. We could move up to here. That's probably the best uh, course of action. Running and gunning, unfortunately, into half cover. But at least we're not going to be affected by the explosion and can't be flanked. And that's the problem. Even though we're playing it correctly, we're still going to suffer damage. Shots into half cover. Ah, there we go. That's a lot of damage. That might be our salvation. Oh, by the way, look at the hit point numbers. Those guys are stronger than ever. I'm still thinking about a good flanking position. Probably this one here. Very well aware that the loss are coming from this side. Too many hit points to just kill. 
But this here might as well be a kill. Minimum damage, are you kidding me? We need to stay in cover. There is no way around it. This here could be a kill if we crit. Good job. And that's the whole problem of essentially fighting against um, higher level units with just incredibly low level gear. Okay, that could help us. That could help us. Let's reload first. They can't get up here unless they move around here, but that will take another turn. And this damage here, deal, uh, this here deals more damage than the weapon itself. Reloading, and I think we need to get rid of the mark. So killing the uh, killing the um, captain will get rid of the marking. And now this guy here needs needs to deal with a chose uh, with a loss. Fortunately, also flanks us. Nice little kill. Ninety percent chance to kill him. Might as well try to do that. We're almost out of healing. Okay, we need to be careful with the losses here. So Roby will stand in the open. And just overwatch. There is one loss with seven hit points and a bunch of additional loss. Okay, let's get into a better position. <clears throat> the initial drop it was successful. Maybe these ambush missions are not as easy as I thought they would be. We need weapon upgrades for sure. Six hit points uh, requires maximum damage, so I was about to say that's unlikely to happen. Okay. <clears throat> So overall, I think the losses are still doable, although they become harder, more difficult.
We know there is another one down there. Standing right next to this chest. Oh, even two of them. Interesting. <clears throat> so that's enough damage to kill both of them. Good. Soon the loss will reappear. I'm, I'm you here. Gotta take some sort of high ground, probably the ladder over there. What's over there? Let's first of all get to the evac zone. And then we can start camping them again. Fortunately, this time, the main difference between last time and this time is uh, last time they had a maximum of five hit points. This time they go up to seven. There's our next promotion. All right, reloading. And let's soften the guys up. Okay. Seven hit points would be absolutely doable if we had our upgraded magnetic shotgun. That's doing six in minimum, plus it can crit. This could be a kill. Yep, very nice. Let's set up this guy here. We can still do it. It's just getting more difficult. I wasn't aware that the hit points would uh, of the loss would rise that much. It's a problem. We need the between the eyes order. We can get it. That'll be nice. It's from the Reapers. So if we can somehow get another resistance order from them, that would probably help us a lot. Reload Overwatch. Two to three more advents. And I would assume this time a bit more difficult advents as well. Can't see a single advent here. Oh, right there, purifier. Well, we can certainly deal with a purifier, that's not a problem.
Okay, several kills from high ground now. I'm not getting any closer. Let's kill the last uh, lost and then trigger the purifier. Too bad. I was hoping we wouldn't miss him. Okay. So. In terms of the purifier. A protocol for Roby, because purifiers have terrible aim. Maybe able to soften him up, yes. Which will make it a secure kill. We're running and gunning, we just need to find the right spot. I think this one here for full cover will do just fine. Okay, perfect. We even got some loot. I think uh, the unfortunate part is we can't keep the corpses in this mission. It's one of the very few missions which we actually can win, and we can't even keep the corpses. Slow and steady wins the race. Very soon we're going to see another set of losses. And that might be a sectored. Nope. It's another purifier. And there is another Advent Trooper, it seems, back there. <clears throat> Time to clean this one here up. Okay, the purifier is too far away to take a decent shot, and he might focus on the loss anyways. Yep. They are nicely fire vulnerable, so... That's just good. Softening him up. Moving very, very close, 100% shot, there we go. Well, she's taking a lot of damage. Four damage per tick. Good turn for reload. There's one more advent. If, if you say so. Uh, I'm going. 
And that's an overwatch. I think the last time the advent stood right here. He seemed to have moved. Okay. Um, do we have high ground? We would have it over here. I think I'm going to go for that. I prefer three shots into high ground over uh, from high ground over a long range shotgun duel any time of the day. Good. This is just softening them up. We can't kill them. All right, let's try to thin them out even more. This here is softening the guy up. And overwatch. Okay. So those losses have been dealt with. Now it's time to find the last advent. Reload, reload. And let's slowly advance. Again, slow and steady is the key on this mission here. Most difficult parts are over. Nice, that's a good hit. Oh, look at that. So, our typical camping spot always has been up here. Let's first of all try if the camp still works. Sort of. So the idea essentially always had been uh, jump down, clean everything up and then jump back up. So there's one. That's two. That is three. Gotta soften him up. Roby finishes him. And we're using our sword to finally kill the last one. Good. It's basically rinse and repeat from here. I will, I think, fast forward it again. And see if we can 
kill about 50 to 100 more. I'll be right back. And we are back. I gave myself pretty much exactly 30 to 40 minutes to get everything uh, going. This here is the result of what you see. I industrialized the farming process of the loss and pretty much killed, I, I guess, around 100 of them. One could probably do it even more intensively, but I felt at some point enough is enough. Okay, I killed a little bit more. Anyway, since we're not... I think we cannot even keep the corpses. It would be nice if we could, because it would be a money machine. There we go. Both of them pretty gravely wounded, but both of them received a promotion. Uh, yes, please, Blade Storm. Implaceable is also really good. And I think we're going for Field Medic here. Well, yes, they work together quite well, so might as well give them a bond. Yeah, and we got some loot on top of that. So, overall success. But we also... Oh, what? Articiophobia. Chance to panic when missing a shot. Um, yeah, that, that'll suck. Got some more supplies. And that was successful. Good. So, in terms of next steps, we have like, what exactly? Seven more days until, until the supply drop. I would like to do a fast mission. A promotion here is super good. Dodge plus 8 is also not bad. Are we going for more dodge or are we going for a promotion? Both of it is only 7 days, so it's not bad. I think we should aim for the promotion. Don't want to put any supplies on the line. However, there is now always a chance for an ambush. So those two might end up fighting anyways. Um, yeah, let's get him the promotion. Changed a little bit in the layout here. Started building a training center so we can use the skills and cut down a bit on the alien machinery. We also need to put someone on um, extra extra energy, elsewise we couldn't afford that. I think one way of one way of doing it is healing faster. Another one is getting supplies. We're short on supplies, so might as well try to get those. This could be easily a hundred supplies, and we don't have a diff uh, we don't have another income source other than scanning them. That is a mission which we might even be able to pull off. We won't get the intel, but we could get the supplies, because killing 
a dark VIP is potentially possible. Anyways, we're already deep into this mission, uh, deep into this um, uh, episode. We're going to look at uh, the Operation New Arctic in our next episode. For now, I say thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next run, guys. Bye bye.